Hi guys, it's Pauline Bennett from Stamp with Pauline and Stampin' Stampede. Today I'm just going to do a video on masking technique. What you want to do is stamp down your first image, stamp it again on a post-it note, making sure that you get some of the adhesive that is on the post-it note. You cut it out, if not on the line, I try to go just inside the line. It just depends on where um, you want it to go. But if you can cut just inside the line, it does make it a little easier. Then the next image I'm going to actually cut, uh, stamp, sorry, is the rhino. And I'm just going directly over the top of the kangaroo. And so now what will happen is when I lift off that post-it note, it now looks like the rhino is behind the kangaroo. And then what I have done next is I've again stamped it on a post-it note, cut just inside the line of the rhino. I didn't worry about the bird because I'm not going to be sticking it on that side. And next I'm going to stamp the giraffe. And this is just going to go just ever so slightly. I might just tilt him slightly on an angle like that. And then what happens is now it looks like the giraffe is behind the rhino. So that's all masking is, is just putting your first image down, post-it note, stamp your second image, post-it note, third image. This card I'm going to finish off and I'm actually casing it from another Stampin' Up! demonstrator, Ruth Norton. So that's masking. See ya!